So the SIMBUS is a mobile um, educational unit. Um, so for our SIMBUS, it has two um, individual SIM rooms, so we we'll mock um, hospital rooms that have um, a high fidelity simulator. What I mean by high fidelity is it's a person that computerized like a robot. So it has pulses, it breathes, it will sweat and bleed and all those things that do it and we can change the physiology as the learner goes through different types of scenarios. We also have lots of different skills trainers and sometimes we'll use um, actors and actresses as standardized patients to portray certain scenes or cases we need them to to help with the training. So 2018 that was the first year that I co-chaired and um, the beneficiary was the mobile sim bus. Uh, we, we really chose that, the committee chose that, because it really benefited the outlying communities, the, not only the providers, but the, the residents of those communities. Uh, I do remember uh, quite explicitly the check that we presented at the end, which was more than we'd ever raised, was $320,000. So we made the decision to purchase the Mobile Sim Lab um, for the need of education in the community. Uh, we have a large region here in Northeast Georgia with our EMS. A lot of it's rural and they do not have the resources or the funding to provide uh, really good education, especially uh, simulation education because it is so expensive. And so we are able to go out and provide that education to them while they are um, on shift and working so they don't have to come in on their day off. And we are able to you know, identify gaps and holes in some of uh, the patient care and pre-hospital care. So the one thing I like most about Sim Truck was the fact that the equipment we have that y'all brought to us was very realistic and was able to come to Banks County instead of us having to bring everybody down to Gainesville to do the training with. It has been very beneficial to our department. Um, the bus was able to provide a lot of realistic equipment um, and we were able to use our own equipment and um, resources, protocols, medications, everything like that to make it as realistic as possible. Uh, the SIM bus allowed the system to reach more of the providers out in the region, uh, the different counties to take the simulation bus to them and train them there on their own ground versus them having to find the time to come into Gainesville and do it on the main campus of Gainesville. We basically took it to them. So it not only benefited the providers with the, um, the training, but then it also benefited the communities in which we supported.